Hello, I'm Heather Broadbent, holistic violinist, founder of Online Violin, creator of Violin Fitness and Violin Secrets Academy where I train violinists all over the world how to play their favorite pieces and enhance their current skill sets. Not only do I easily take violinists to the next level on their violin journey, I enable them to be transported to another world through violin performance. This video is dedicated to Terry in Canada. We just finished a session together and he had many questions about the first finger for the violin. So he inspired me to make a video of how to place the first finger on the violin and how your first finger should operate. The first finger on the violin is very important. All the fingers are obviously important, but the first finger is very important because if he doesn't set up correctly, then your whole hand could be off. So we need to make sure that he behaves, okay? So first, you wanna take that violin, have a beautiful violin hold, where if you need to watch my video for violin hold, definitely check it out. You wanna make sure you're just holding uh, here with your jaw, your shoulder, your collarbone, this area, not clamping, but holding, okay? And then with your left hand, it's almost like a balance on the thumb. Your left hand should be completely relaxed. If it's not relaxed, go ahead and shake it out and then bring it back, okay? So the first finger, when the first finger sets up, you want to make sure it's like a tabletop. You see this here? Just a nice tabletop and it's definitely on its tip. And a good way to help you know exactly how that first finger should come down is actually take a marker or a pen and draw a line on that finger, okay? So we're going to do this. We're going to take the marker and you're going to draw a line right down the middle of the finger. Just like so, okay? So you see we have a line down the middle of the finger. I accidentally cut my finger the other day, so this line that you see here is actually a cut. <laughs> so the black line is what you wanna look at, okay? So the black line, put a line right down the middle of your finger, okay? And then when you play with your first finger, make sure that it's on the inside corner of the finger, okay? So as you see, the black line's in the middle and where you wanna groove from that string is actually here on the inside corner, kind of like where my cut is. <laughs> so maybe it was just destiny that I cut my finger so you could see exactly where you're supposed to play. So your groove when you play the violin should definitely be on the inside corner, okay? So a great exercise is to actually start on any string, but probably the D or the A. We'll start with the D. And just play open D and E, okay? And just get that finger moving up and down. Now you don't want all these fingers to smush together to help that first finger. They've got to stay open. And you also want to keep this open. So you can do a couple of thumb taps or I call it the thumb wiggle or the thumb dance where you move him around, keep him relaxed, okay? So about 20 times open D and then open, open D and then E. Then we'll go over to the A string actually. Do the same thing, E string. Still keep this open and then keep your palm facing the fingerboard as much as possible. You don't want it to flip out like this, okay? The other thing to keep in mind is your elbow here. Now, your elbow should be such that it's just kind of hanging out. You don't want it out here. If you have it too far this way, you're gonna develop pain right here in your shoulder and you don't want to have any pain. So not out like this. And you want your violin to be, um, nose and scroll have it kind of lined up like this you don't want your violin out like this okay and it's very important for that elbow so when you play on the e string your elbow will be here a a c how it moves in when you go to the lower string your elbow is going to move in a little bit to help you get that hand where it should be okay so a way to practice this is actually just kind of swing gently back and forth don't force you don't want to force to go that way because you'll get that pain again. So just gently back and forth, just let it hang. And then when you do this, you'll see your thumb actually will move. If you go in, the thumb will kind of go under a little bit. The elbow goes out. See, the thumb will just move gently. Now, when you're playing, it's not going to be a big motion when you go from the E string to the G string that you're going to notice your thumb move. 
it should just kind of hang out and not move terrible amounts when you switch strings, okay? But for this exercise that we're doing, it's going to move just a little bit, okay? All right, so back to that first finger. What I'd like you to do to practice that first finger, do 20 times on each string, A, open string, and then the first finger. And then also do an exercise where you go E, F sharp, A, B, D, E, G, E, G, A. And then the opposite direction, G, A, D, E, A, B, E, F sharp. Okay? And when you do this, just kind of to keep an eye on the elbow, that he's just moving slightly, that everything's relaxed, that your thumb is relaxed, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much the, the first finger. Make sure he's on its tip, draw that line, and then after you do the exercise, check it out, see where your groove, it, groove is. Make sure your groove is on that inside corner of the finger. Okay, hopefully you found this video to be helpful, and be sure to, if you haven't yet, check out onlineviolin.net. That's where I have all my blog posts and more videos. And you can subscribe to my video secrets training that I have, Violin Video Secrets Training, where you'll get videos every week in your inbox to help you with the violin. So remember, until the next time I see you again, happy practicing, be true, be you, be.